Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here. This is episode number eight of our journey with U48 and Captain Krautman. We are back in Willemshaven after our last mission. Uh, we do have to uh, visit our supply officer to restock, as well as Was brauchst du, Herr Kaloy? our um, leading officer to get our next mission. Uh, before we do that, I want to make sure I get my, my new hydrophones here. And then uh, let's stock Schau up mal. on everything that we may need for uh, our upcoming mission here. Uh, looks like we're out of cheese, so I'm going to buy some cheese. I don't know if my crew actually goes through all this stuff or not. But in the eventuality that we have to give some of it away, it's good to have extra. I don't know. They don't seem to eat very much. Full fuel. And uh, torpedoes. Torpedoes. Like there's only one that's free, so we'll grab the free one and just buy everything else. I think we've got plenty of um, plenty of ammo or plenty of money. We haven't fired our stern tube yet, so there's that. All right, thanks, bud. All right, and off to the. Beim BDU wird viel über ihre letzte Patrouillenfahrt geredet. Gute Thanks, Arbeit. See what our next Dies sind die heutigen are. Aufträge vom BDU. Streng geheim. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Tonnage War. And this one off the north coast of Ireland. And then this one right here. What about these? These have to be done by... The 1st of January. Um, not really giving me the uh, any option to, uh, to do these. Oh, here we are. Ex Gapa Flow. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, we've got quite a bit that we can do. Other station, Bear Island. Kriegsmarine, as well as the Luftwaffe, would find it immensely useful to have more accurate weather data at their disposal to plan upcoming operations. For this reason, we came up with a plan to set an automated weather station on remote islands. Our meteorologist identified Bear Island as a promising target for such uh, deployment. Uh, I'm still pretty kind of shaky on torpedo operations. I've watched a bunch of um, tutorial videos. I try and do what they do, and my torpedoes seem to go kind of wide all the time. So here's mine laying operations. The Enigma recovery might be interesting. That's right there. And then Enigma recovery is... I wonder if I could do these. Whoops. While I'm out. I don't think I can pick missions while I'm out. But we have a limited amount of time to do this in, so... Maybe some more practice with torpedoes. We got a lot of time to get this done in June 1940. Let's do this one. Find a U-boat's wreck, send a diver, and recover the Enigma machine. Alright, so we're going to go... Uh, 
Let me make sure I have, I have a diver here. Shoma. Before we do, do anything. Um, equipment. Food. Items. Alright, so we do have a diving suit. We only have four coffee. Oh, jeez. we grab some more coffee. Because everybody loves coffee. Alright, so we are going to go get ourselves an Enigma machine. Hopefully, uh, that will be a successful mission. Uh, I'm going to get through the four days, get underway, and then we will... Uh, Head off to uh, dangerous waters. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. It is 4:30 in the morning. We are getting pretty close to our destination here. Um, not sure. I really want to go in there in the daylight hours. I may stop and sit and let the. Uh, let the day pass and then go in there at night. Um, but we are going to do a quick hydrophone check here. So let's drop down to periscope depth. Let's get this guy on the uh, listing. Oh, look at the hydrophone range now. Surprised we didn't pick up anything in this area here. We slow down if it would, uh, well, we're going pretty slow now as it is. Come to a stop. It only increases it a little bit. All right, well, it doesn't look like there's any ships in the area, so we're going to come up to the surface. And head on out. We're gonna turn the uh, compressor on to give us some air here. Let's get into position. No clue what's gonna happen once we uh, actually get into position, but it is approaching daylight, so we will continue on our way, and uh, hopefully, it'll let me know what to do once I get here. Well, apparently we are not the only ones that are looking for the Enigma machine, and unfortunately we're on the surface, so... Uh, let's uh, get this boat down to periscope depth. We're not even moving right now. Or we are moving. So let's come to a, come to a stop. See how far out they are from us here. Like we're um fairly far out from the uh ships there. Let's get this guy on the uh hydrophone. He's listening. Slowly getting down to depth here. Alright. Give him some help. Uh, who else? Give him some help too. Not sure why, uh, We even submerging or what? What's happening here? There's the destroyer right in our path. How far out are they? Five miles. 
There's two of them out there, too. Yeah, let's go down to 20 meters. Set a course. Try and get around them. Kind of hesitant to uh, even move here. Not sure they saw us. They probably did, because... We were uh, on the surface. We had pretty good sight on them. Just make sure we're not going to run into the bottom here. Like I can actually see it. saying that. Guess I'm closing a hatch. Not sure why I can't get out of the screen here again. Go to the map. That's this weird feeling I'm going to have to attack this, uh, this destroyer to get past him. Change our course here. I think he's patrolling in this area, so... It's deeper as we go further out. So if need be, I can... ...go down, but I am gonna try and get around this guy here. Just kinda hoping he didn't see me. have uh, reached our destination. I can't really do anything unless we're on the surface, apparently. Uh, so we are going to take a quick look around. See if we see anything in in the general area and pop up to the surface and then go from there. We did manage to get around the destroyers. They seem to be Kind of just moving in circles. We're going to have to get past them again on the way out. And I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any smoke, seeing any ships or anything like that. So let's bring us up, up to the surface here. See if we can see anything here. Now that we're on the surface, in broad daylight, luckily there's nothing around, so I think we're uh, safe to go. 
do what we need to do. So click to interact. Send a diver. Uh, who do we want to send? We'll send Michael Nod, the engineer. Give him the dive suit and send him down. And leave the screen at any time until the wait is over. Only 24 seconds, so. We'll see what happens. Once this 24 seconds is up. All right. After being lowered into the conning tower, Michael Nod tried to open the hatch, but without any success. The hatch seemed to be badly damaged, and opening it would take a lot of effort and time. It's going to be faster to try entering through the escape hatch in the galley. Oh, there he is right there. All right, enter through the escape hatch, Michael Nod. Watch him. This is kind of cool. Oh, see what he does. I think he got into it. Michael Nod managed to enter the crew quarters through the escaped hatch in the galley. The hatch leading towards the control room is locked. So he's trying. Trying to get in there. Michael Nod managed to unlock the hatch, but when he tried to open it, he couldn't do that, which made him realize that the compartment on the other side is not filled with water. To his surprise, he heard a few knocks and faint human voices afterwards. There's someone alive on the other side. Michael Nod managed to communicate with the people trapped in the control room. It's a radio man and his assistant. They're trapped in there for many days now. They confirm that they have access to the Enigma machine. And if you manage to open the hatch at the conning tower, they should be launched in the air bubble right to the surface along with the machine. They said they will be ready. Well, this is taking a lot of time. Alright. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it open. It's badly damaged. It's going to take a few minutes. Alright. Well, it'll take a few minutes to open then. We're not going to abort now that we've done all this. And they weren't kidding about it being a few minutes here. Guess I can use the time compression for this. November 30th, 1939, 11.57. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, these guys. Sailors are dying on board. Stabilize them with a radio man that has medical training as soon as possible. Okay. Are we full of water? How do you stabilize him with a radio man that's got medical training? First aid. There we go. Alright, I think I gotta do it for more than one here. 
Uh, first aid. There we go. Uh, turn our pumps on. Turn the water out. All right, well, here we are. Now we have to return to port. Our Enigma machine. I think that automatically sends me back to port, so... Let's see what happens here. I guess it does. I might start, um... Plotting my own course back, just because this wasn't a very action-packed, uh... Episode or anything, but... We did manage to uh, get the Enigma and a couple of unexpected crew members down there on the uh, on the boat that we rescued. And now we are returning to Willemshaven. Michael Nod receives the Iron Cross Second Class. And the Iron Cross First Class. Good job, Michael Nod. Gains points towards the next decoration. Kraut Scriptman Krautman gains points towards the next de decoration. Campaign mission completed. Skipper, your successful mission to recover sensitive equipment from the sunken U-boat was a crucial victory for the Kriegsmarine. Your quick thinking and skilled execution of the operation ensured that the enemy was unable to gain access to the valuable equipment on board. Your determination to protect our forces from the enemy has been crucial to your our success. You have earned the admiration of your peers. Cool. Uh, nine days, 17 hours at sea. Traveled 3,000 miles. Uh, spotted ships but didn't engage. All right, so now we're... Uh, Free to choose our next mission here. That was kind of fun, even though uh, we didn't get into any fights with anyone. It's um, it's kind of nice to actually use stealth and be sneaky with a submarine, which is kind of what they're designed to do. Uh, I'm gonna take on some fuel just because. There we go. We didn't use anything else. Um, let's turn on the compressor and get our air back up here. I'm gonna take a look at headquarters and see if there's anything, anything we can work on there. Uh, what do we want? Improved toilets. Ammunition production. Improved torpedo pistols. pistols. Equipment production. Well, we only have one. And the improved toilets is too much for us. Alright, well, we can't do anything, so... See what the orders from the Admiralty are, and we'll pick our next mission. Uh, we could attack Scapa Flow. We do the weather station. Uh, mine laying in the English Channel. Or we can go. Do some more, uh, some more hunting. Um, that would be a hard one right there. But yeah, we'll go with that one. We'll, uh, 
go to the south coast of Ireland. All right. So that's going to be our next mission to return to the uh, Western approaches and I think 7,000 tons. All right, that's going to do it for today's episode. I think uh, a little bit of a shorter episode, uh, it's kind of different. We weren't just trying to find things to sink. It was pretty fun. Um, want to get some more practice with the torpedoes before I go trying to uh, salt the Scapa flow or anything like that. Um, still having problems getting a good bead on the enemy and f shooting torpedoes that actually hit. But we will uh, take up our uh, patrol in the sector assigned to us and uh, get some practice. Anyway, if you like the episode, hit the like button. If you have any tips or advice, please leave those in the comment section down below. If you want to follow along with uh, U-48, hit the subscribe and you can come along with us. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.